Now, I'm 11 years old, and this is the first episode of Movie Reviews for Kids by Victoria. The reason why I'm doing this is because parents and children can see this video and know if the movie is appropriate. When I do the V symbol that is the um, victory, is that I really like the movie and that I recommend it. When I have two fingers closed, it means that I really don't recommend it that much and that I didn't really like it and that maybe you should see it when it comes on DVD. Okay, the movie I saw was Juicebumps. I have read the series of books and seen the series in Netflix. It is about um, Arl Stein, aka Jack Black. So, what it talks about is Arl Stein creating the book. So, it starts off as Zack, the boy, with his mother, that they move to another place after Zack's father dies. He has a new neighbor called Hannah, the daughter of Arl Stein. One night, Zack hears Hannah scream. He goes to the house, opens a book, and guess what? The book comes to life, like the creatures all pop out. Like, and that happens. But I'm not going to say any more because I'm not going to do any spoilers. So, the difference between the series of, you know, TV and the books and this movie are very minimum because it's only talking about monsters. Like, showing all the monsters that Arl Stein wrote. And that's it. So, there's not a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the monsters. The first one is the puppet Slappy. He's one of the creepiest because he is the one that they most emphasize, like if it was the second part of Arl Stein, like if they were connected. The Abominable Snowman, he is, I didn't really like him that much because the way he moved looked fake like the animation I didn't really like him um okay so the clown the clown was really creepy I even got scared the first time I saw him like the first time I saw him I was like whoa that's a creepy clown like what okay. and the other thing is the zombies the zombies look really realistic they might scare children that are younger and the wolf exactly like the abominable snowman the movements look face the facial expressions so i didn't really like them what you should be careful about with your kids is if they get scared if there are loud noises or jump scares um you shouldn't take him to see them and if they are scared of clowns again recommendation the clown is really creepy so my favorite monster was Slappy. Like I said before, they emphasize on him a lot and they show a lot of history about him. But my favorite human character was Arl Stein and I can't imagine anyone else that could have played the role as good as Jack Black because we've seen different movies about him being really funny and stuff like that. But this role is different. He is like really serious. He hates the human being kind. Then he learns to like them. And I really did love it because he's the writer. He created all the books. Without him, there would have been no movie. So what I liked and didn't like about the movie was that, like I told you before, some animations didn't look really realistic, but the rest was pretty fine. I really liked it. Uh, it was awesome and I would really see it again. Okay, so this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Do I approve it? Do I don't? So, I do approve it. Even though there are some things that they could have made better, I do approve it because I really did love it and how I... If you've seen the series and everything, you're gonna really enjoy it. It's like your childhood is coming to life. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot how I truly love popcorn. When I give it one popcorn box, is that I didn't like it that much. When I give it five, it means that I totally loved it. 
So now for the reveal. I give it four popcorn boxes. It could have been a bit better, so that's why I'm giving it four. Okay, so if you want to see this exact same video in Spanish, click the link below. Si quieres ver este mismo video en español, um, pon el video que está abajo. Bye! My favorite part, the popcorn. Hashtag popcorn lover.